So today, Cal Ivanko, Stormy Steele's former COO, gave us a little legal update, as he calls it, um, in regards to this lawsuit that he filed against her. And then we know she filed a response. Um, the legal update says the bogus lawsuit filed against me in retaliation and to intimidate me is being dismissed. Uh, he says the same one that had a process server pounding on my door just before 10 p.m., three nights in a row, first two nights leaving before I had an opportunity to open the door. He said it'll take some time, but I'm actually very much looking forward to my day in court. So based on the notice, it appears that Stormy Steele's company and her attorneys are the ones that are um, dismissing their uh, response or lawsuit against Kyle. Um, it says notice of dismissal pursuant to rule 41A1 of the Alabama Rules of Civil Procedure, plaintiff CNVS Fulfillment LLC canvas files this notice of dismissal of this action without prejudice. Currently pending in the Northern District of Alabama is a separate federal court lawsuit initiated by Cal Ivanko in which Canvas intends to prosecute its claims. So it looks like uh, Stormy's law firm is Leo Law Firm LLC. It looks like this was uh, filed by her attorney, Brian J. Richardson. Now, if you remember in Stormy's complaint or lawsuit that she filed against back at Cal, um, she stated that he wrongfully claimed that he was entitled to 30% of all future profits and certain intellectual properties of the company. Uh, she said he claimed that he was a partner, but in her complaint, she stated that the only owners of Canvas Beauty Fulfillment Company and Canvas Beauty was owned by herself and her husband, Courtney Beasley. She also noted in her complaint that he tried to make himself kind of like indispensable. Um, and she asked the courts to recognize that he had already been paid a generous amount of money for his work. So sound off in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts about all this, you guys. Um, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this all pans out. But in the meantime, Stormy Steele is gearing up for her next big TikTok live event, which I think I heard her say it's on the 27th. Um, she also recently shared that she has some new, I don't know whether it's like a body spray. And I think they compliment like her body glazes. And she also has come out with some type of shower gel or body wash and a cologne called Signature. So it looks like she's been pretty busy. Uh, so take a look at what she shared. All right, y'all. I know y'all been waiting on it. Y'all been ready to see what this body mist looking like. Well, guess what? We ain't got body mist, honey. We got body blow. That's right, body blow. And what I want y'all to do for me is tell me in the comments how much you think we should charge for it. We got sent from heaven. So we started with our top five cents. Sent from heaven is the first one. We got that strawberry shortcake. Y'all already know strawberry shortcake is the number two seller. Then we had to come through with the watermelon because watermelon just popped out and it was, did its big one and everybody wanted it. Okay, so we did that one. Siama. Siama for the women who are grown and sexy. You know she got her own little tribe so we had to put her in there and we got the uh, original the og the glazed donuts can't go nowhere without it and we got that you know the drunken peach the one that everybody keeps talking about so mm -hmm, let's go now these are dropping on my mega live september 27 here on tiktok make sure you register with the link so you don't miss out good, good. It the soap feel like butter. No, it feels like butter. Oh, this is it. It's I'm buttery. Sorry. You did your big one. No, wow. Don't that feel like butter? You know what? It, fe it feels hydrating too. Yeah, like it don't feel like stripping. Like, look at that. It does not feel stripping. It feels like silky. Wow. Like, I can't explain it. Like, when I was using the samples and I kept getting in the shower, I was like, I'm excited to take a shower. Yeah. 
So like I said, Stormy uh, did just recently share that she has just launched her very first perfume. Uh, she said wearing nothing but signature. She said it turns heads everywhere. It's dropping this Friday. Uh, she said register for my TikTok live with the link in her bio. Now I'm curious as to why she named it signature only because I know Mont Blanc has a cologne called signature also. So I don't know if they have a trademark on that name, but it's kind of interesting. But anyway, you guys sound off in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts about all of this. And as always, I thank you all for watching and listening. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.